up, folks? Back at you with another episode of Kent and Pitbull's Weekly. It's not wonderful. Nope. <sighs> kind of sick of how things are right now. Let's talk about it. If you play semi-pro football, comment down below where you play, what state you play, what team you play for. Comment that in the comment section here on YouTube down below. Let's talk about that for one. But for real, the past couple weeks have been crazy and we need to catch up on everything. Because semi-pro football is one of those unpredictable monsters that you just don't know what's gonna happen week to week. Especially here in Ohio. In the PAFL, we got Michigan teams, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Indiana, maybe even all the way down there by Kentucky. Boy, it, it, psh, parts of Western New York. But my goodness, is it so hard, for real, to hire somebody with a camera, even a phone, and just film your game? Somebody, please, just film the games. I, I'm literally trying to put forth an awesome thing here every single week for the love of this game because I want to shine real good light upon the things that need to be shined on in this game. I know for a fact that I've inspired people to play this game because of these videos. So I'm trying to do something good here. Can't do it, makes it real hard. If either one, you don't give me the film, Detroit Ravens, come on. I don't know if that's an Ohio, Michigan thing, or if y'all just really didn't get the film, or I don't know if I'm being lied to, but it's still trash that the game happened almost two weeks ago, still haven't got the film. Come on. And then there's last week, we played the Predators. Love the guys in the Predators. Those are my peeps. Nobody was filming the game though. How hard is it to have somebody, at least with their cell phone, just hold it up and record the game? If we wanna get better as individuals on the field, we need to be able to actually look at the game film. You know, that's the thing. Oh, behind me, this is the past two weeks. You know, because I actually film and I actually am trying to create a show here. For reals, every single week. Trying to make something awesome. Trying to make something y'all look forward to. It's hard to do that if I don't get a film of a game film to put in there so we can do highlights. To put it all together. That's like the cream of the Oreo. I don't buy a package of Oreos and review them just for the cookie part. Need that cream filling. The review, the uh, highlight videos, the actual film of the game, that's the cream. Y'all gotta get together. Y'all gotta get together. Anyways, and if Portis, I swear if you go on live one more time, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Why? Stop it. We have to change some stuff with semi-pro football because things like this, like the lack of film, how are any of these young bucks that are coming into this game that really shouldn't be playing at this level, but for whatever reason they're here and they need to get up out. They need film and they need to get up out. We shouldn't be making it difficult for that 2% of people to get out of this level. We shouldn't be making it difficult. So just film your games. Just film the games and give us the film. And if you're an owner and you have money, and you have money, and you're dropping money on all these things, or on players, or God knows what, get huddle. Just get huddle. If you don't know what huddle is, Google it. And if you don't realize that you need it, you do need it. It's a very vital thing. It makes your life so much easier. Just get huddle. I promise you. Another thing. These semi-pro football groups on Facebook have become the most toxic things in the whole wide world. Like why? Why do they have to happen in the ways that they're happening right now? I've been in this semi-pro game for the past seven years. Seven years. And obviously times change. Obviously things get different. But why are things so different now? Why are things so crazy, especially in the Ohio group? Let's just talk, be specific and be real. Why do things have to be so extra and so dramatic every single week? Like, it's sad. It's extremely sad. You see, for real, why people are playing semi-pro football? Just by the things that they type. 
just by the videos that they make, just by the things that they say, you see mentally why people are playing on, on this level every single week. It's insane. Like, we went up to Detroit, and we played the Ravens, and we lost 51 to 43. I do what I want to say. Yep. See the score right there. 51 to 43. It was a phenomenal game. It was like the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Los Angeles Rams this past season. It was a shootout, no defense to be heard, not for not not for the most part, but it could have been anybody's game. Those refs, 110 percent, and I know you hear somebody say those refs, and you roll your eyes. No, this is for real. They were not going to let any Ohio team come in there and win a close game. It was just not happening. They were they were rolling deep with the with the Ravens alumni, and it just is what it is. You go on the road, and you 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 know that the world's against you, and we didn't come out with a W. So why do we get on live? Why do we get online as soon as we get back? As soon as we get on the bus? As soon as we get in our car? Why are we getting online and talking any crap? Like we have any any reason to talk? Why do teams do that? Like, you just took the L. It sucks. If you don't think losing sucks, then stop playing sports. But you just took the L. And I'm not just talking about us, but this could be anybody. Oh, but, oh, but the refs. Oh, but this. Oh, but that. Oh, nothing. The refs did suck. We still lost. It doesn't matter what you did individually. It doesn't matter. You still lost. It's a team sport. You still lost. Shut up. There's no reason to talk through the whole week. There's no reason to talk after that. Just put your head down and work. But that's not how the semi-pro groups work. Not at all. Just toxicity every single day. Just a bunch of bull crap every single day. Why can't y'all just go to work, go to practice, go to your game, shut up, play the game, and then promote the game in a positive way, and then people would actually respect the game, people would actually fill the stands, people would actually give a crap about what you do. But you don't. You talk all the venom, the venom gets out there on the field, and then nobody wants to respect it and nobody wants to watch it. So if you want people to actually respect your hustle and the efforts that you put in, why don't you change your actions, change your words, change, good God, filter yourself a little bit for the love. Then we get to this week. Then we get to this week. We play the Preds. It's on the road, but it's really, is it, is it really a road game? It's just Cleveland. Most of these dudes are from Akron, Cleveland-ish area, unless they're flying in. Hmm. So we go up to the Preds, and uh, first play of the game, broken coverage. Like a slant wrap to Netters, and he takes it like 40-some yards, gets down inside the five. Their drive stalls. So I'm thinking, okay, come on, D. So we go back. So we get the ball back, literally. Next play, safety. We're down 2 nothing. That two nothing ends up being like nine nothing. Nine nothing ends up being twenty nine nothing in the second quarter. Something like that. How are you down twenty nine nothing second quarter with the team that we have assembled? That's bull. That's that's complete and utter trash. We have no room to talk. Like psh, came out more than flat. Like nothing was going right. No excuses. We just sucked. Reality set in because we got too much talent on this roster to just continually suck. So talent. Kicked in, reality set in. Second half, they didn't score a point. Not even a single point. And we had every opportunity to score between mistrust, between uh, lack of execution, between a lot of things, a lot of problems. We lost. We lost. 29 to 20. So we played technically two um, league games. And we're 0 and 2. We got to see the Predators again. We won't see the Ravens again until maybe the playoffs. Um, we actually played WPA a few weeks back for like a quarter and a half, and we were up six to two. We just ran a 92-yard pump back for a touchdown. Lightning struck. Game canceled. Game's going to be replayed at some point later this summer. Here we are at 0 and two, technically within the conference. We won all the preseason games, but what's that matter right now? And it's not even really preseason. It's out of conference. That kind of stuff pisses me off when we call preseason because it's not preseason. If you actually are a good team, those games matter. So get that preseason stuff out of your head. It's not a preseason. It's just out of conference games. But here we are again. Portis going on live. Pissing me off. We released him. We said bye. Because he goes on live and says some crazy stuff. 
goes on live and pff, whatever you want to really know you go on live and you say some crazy stuff talking about how good you are talking about how good you are nobody's better than me nobody's better than me on these 17 minute rants in your car out of the clear blue sky not only do you do it in our group uh, on the Canton Pipple page that nobody knows and sees but then you go and do it on the Michigan page before we play the Ravens. And then you go and do it on the Ohio page. You're going through three different pages just gloating, just talking about how good you are. When we have specifically said, especially after the Preds game, everybody, chill. We're 0-2. Shut up. Don't get online. Stop going online. Work on yourself. Focus on being better on the field. Stop talking. You just keep talking. So we said peace out to you. Also, if you want to get for real, because there's a lot of people asking in the comment section I saw, was it because of his live or was it because of his play on the field? Please play for more than two plays in a row. Please. Please make a sack, make a TFL, do something that matters against a team that matters. Don't tell me what you did against the Glads. No disrespect because the Glads are actually up and coming and... Pfft, about to be boss. But don't tell me what you did against them. Tell me what you did against the Ravens. I'm I, I'm still waiting to hear. Tell me what you did against the Preds. Tell me what you personally did since you want to talk, beat your chest about everything that you did. Please tell me what you did against these teams when we lost as a team since you're so good. I'm just asking. I'm just waiting to hear it. Truly, this is the kind of trash that breaks semi-pro between people beating their own chest between people literally paying players and breaking the system of love for this game you can't buy a championship you can't buy a team as much as y'all want to sit and think in la la land that paying players doesn't happen it 100% does it's trash it's breaking this game as a whole, especially in this league, and it's crazy. You, you just can't buy a championship in football. You gotta have camaraderie, you gotta have respect, you gotta have a love for this game, you gotta have love for the process, and you literally got to have chemistry. If you try to buy that, you're, you're just faking it, and guess what, you ain't gonna make it. Nope, that's the kind of bull crap that goes on. That's why Semi-Pro 2019 is a very toxic and crazy place, and I'm sick of it. I'm truly sick of it. I sit here and make these videos. I'm coaching this year. I played for the previous six years before that, then college and high school and peewee and all that stuff. I play, I've been around, and I coach. I've been around football my whole life, as long as I could be. And this 2019 year of Semi-Pro football is the most toxic bull crap I've ever been around, ever. And I don't understand why. It's broken and we gotta fix it. The whole thing needs to get deleted. The whole thing. We need to start clean, start fresh, something. I don't know. But that's what's been going on lately. We've gone from, man, I love making these videos to, man, this is a chore. I've gone from, man, I love this sport and man, I really can't wait for the game on Saturday to, man, got a game on Saturday. And that's not because I don't love my team. That's not because I don't love my squad. That's because I'm just real sick of the trash. I'm real sick of the BS. I'm fed up. And I'm a freaking positive dude. And if you, and if you think otherwise, then you're crazy. But I, if you can't see the pain in my eyes on Saturdays, then I don't know what you're looking at. If you can't see and sense that there's something different about with me when you see and talk to me on Saturdays, then you just don't know me that well. But I'm telling you, I'm stressed out. And there's a lot of other dudes that feel me on this and feel the exact same way if they want to stand up and say that as well. But if we don't change the way that we do things here in semi-pro football, from our, from my team, for sure, to the other teams, individually, as a human being, it, it's, it's never going to get better. Right now, it's a make it or break it point. Is a make it or break a year, and we got we we must be better, or we or 
we're gonna cease to exist and to be completely deleted because we're just trash. And that's what the world looks at us like anyways. That's what we're literally showing everybody. And I know I've been talking for like 15 freaking minutes, but if, if am I lying? Am I literally lying? Because I promise you I'm not. Things gotta change. Hopefully this next week, there'll be a film guy down there in Columbus because we played the Columbus fire. And apparently there will be. But um, we are 0-2 in league play, 4-2 overall, and I'm annoyed at the state of semi-pro football, my team as a whole, truly am. But I hope you love this video. Comment down below if you feel me. Comment down below if you actually listen to my voice with this. You listen to 17 minutes of Porter, so you better listen to 17, 18 minutes of me. Please. <laughs> like and subscribe. And until the next one, peace.